Hi, I'm Bradford, and I am still a licensed school counselor. We are in a series on emotions and feelings. In the last video, we learned that emotion is a physical, real-time reaction to what is happening to you. The feeling is the label that you give to that reaction. And we even did a little work identifying those emotions and feelings. In this video, we're gonna use a Bible story to continue the work of identifying how we feel. So in Exodus 32, the Israelites have built a golden calf. They have replaced God with a statue that isn't alive. It's, it's nothing. It's not going to do anything for them. It doesn't hear them. It hasn't freed them from Egypt. It's nothing, and yet they're worshiping it. Now Moses is alone with God when all this happens, and God comes to Moses to inform him about what's going on at the foot of the mountain. God turns to Moses and says, I have seen how stubborn and rebellious these people are. Now leave me alone so my fierce anger can burn against them, and I will destroy them. Then I will make you, Moses, into a great nation. Moses responds to God saying, Oh Lord, why are you so angry with your own people whom you brought from the land of Egypt with such great power and such a strong hand? Okay, stop right there. God is angry. Actually, and I learned this from the Bible Project, the Hebrew word for anger is actually nose or nostril. So in Hebrew, Moses is asking God, Why are you so nose? Why are you so nostrally? Stay with me here. Have you ever noticed what happens to your face when you are angry? Your nose kind of scrunches up maybe, your face gets hot and you start to turn red. Ugh. You get all nostrally. So remember those physical reactions, those emotions that we were talking about? Well, the label of being angry, well, that's the feeling. So what Moses does is he uses a word that physically describes what is happening to God. He's describing the emotion or physical reaction. It is in our English translations that we use the feeling label of anger. See, the topic of mental health should be really important to Christians. The fact that God is an emotional being tells us that feelings and emotions are important. How we feel plays a role in our choices and actions. God, in his anger, wanted to destroy the Israelites. But the Bible says that Moses changed his mind. That's a conversation for another time. For right now, remember that if we ignore our feelings and emotions as Christians, we're choosing not to take care of ourselves. So as we wrap up this video, just remember that one, God is an emotional being, and two, identifying our emotions and feelings helps us to take better care of ourselves. So here are a few questions for you. Number one, when was the last time you were angry? Number two, what happened to your body when you were angry? And number three, what did you do to help yourself calm down?